gale force winds. That's getting a bit windy. It's cold outside, so we've got inside the tent. Let's just light that and see how it is. Here we go. Yeah, I reckon that'll be all right. There's a bug. What bug? Look. This is getting pretty windy. I don't even think this tarp is going to hold up, you know. It's going to pull out. You think that's going to hold up? I don't. What if it blows out while we're cooking? Just look at the way it's behaving. Oh, Shit! <laughs> Um, I just don't know how long that's going to hang in there, that tarp, before it pulls out. <laughs> Maybe I should just put that centre pole lower. Yeah, for now. A lot of wind is getting underneath it, that's the trouble. Did that tent just push on me? <laughs> okay, I keep the bag, then you put it in the bin. Okay. What do you want me to do? No. Oh, shit. Oh, you killed her. There, to the bin, not to oh. the bin. So, the wind has tripled in the space of about 10 minutes. I don't know if that tarp's going to hold. So, we want to have a burger. We're going to cook a burger. And what happens, happens. If the tarp goes, it goes. I'm not sure if that tarp is going to hold. Oh my god, that looks... If it goes, we're definitely going to have to peg it down. Or bring it lower and peg it down before we go to sleep, definitely. Yeah. Can't leave it like that. No. To be honest, I feel like the tent's going to take off in a minute as well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, the wind's blowing that quite a lot. Do you know where the shelter went? What? I what? Can hear something. Hear what? Excuse me. Oh god, you scared me to death then. I thought like a s hurricane sound or something outside. You want double? Hmm? You want double? No, a single. Hmm. Yeah, it's spitting a bit. Have a look at the top over there. Look. No, oh no, 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 not that. There, over there. Look. <laughs> look, look, it's coming off the ground. Oh my god! Yeah. Look, that's not going to survive, is it? No. It's... Oh. Wait. Wait. Aim it into the tent. Right, Met Office. 
big bus bits. Hazard supply at or above 300 meters, oh. which is about what we're at, I think. Reflecting the more severe conditions, gales. We got a gale warning. Gale force winds. Gusts over 50 miles per hour make walking difficult and strenuous with a potential to be blown over by gusts. There is often a marked increase in winds through coals or on exposed ridges and summits. Visibility could be significantly less than 50 meters in all directions. These conditions require good navigational skills with the risk of whiteout conditions. Well, we're just batting down the hatches and what happens, happens. That's it. You just got to leave it there. Yeah, Don't keep turning it, just leave it. Oh, I want to just... Yeah. You want me to tip it out? Because it's what? You're spitting a lot. Turn that round that way. Put it on top. <laughs> We're on a mission to cook the burgers. Just rest it, just put it on. No, this is gonna slide down. If you're gonna hold it there, you've gotta hold it right well, on it because it's well, just spitting, spitting out anyway. I have to hold either pan, either this table. I'll hold the table. There's no way that carp is going to handle 10 miles an hour more than that. I'll Okay, put it up. Pull it up. What for? No, it's not going to be cooked yet. Leave it. Just you hold it and give it a bit of air. You see? The pops are there. This is a Trangia fuel bottle. It's a safety bottle, and if you do that, it doesn't spill out unless you press this bit. So you can get it in position, and then just press that. Air goes in this side, fluid comes out this side. You don't get any splashing, you just get a little controlled spurt. And you can put it straight into the middle of there. So I see, no, no fluid comes out. You get it right in the right position. A little bit of fluid. That's plenty. The fire goes so high. It's powerful. Yeah, we'll get it to a rolling boil. Yeah. Put it on top of there just to stop. 
too much heat coming out. So this is a titanium, uh, Tox titanium, I think it's 1.1 litre pot with a little mini frying pan on top. We could have done each burger like one burger at a time in that little frying pan. Would have cooked it well fast, I reckon. Oh, next time. Yeah. Well, I didn't think about that. I forgot about this little one. It's amazing the amount of heat that that cook gives off. <coughs> The way that we put that out is we've got the simmer in and we just drop that on there. Like that. Chop, chop, chop. A lot of alcohol they've gone on from that. You can get twelve from that. I don't know. Magda wants a little flame. Little, please. Little. So we put the simmer ring on. This is the simmer ring. The more you open it, more flame. Close it down, less flame. We'll go like that. Have you tasted it? Nice. Fine. Is it? Yeah. Right. There you go, that's lit. Why? You've got to let it bloom. So it comes out these little jets around the outside. Why? Then it's working properly. Then it's lit properly. Yeah. It's working properly. I think that's going out, you know. What do you mean? Well, I just think it's wearing down. I think it's used up the fuel that I put in there. It's nicer, isn't it? Yeah. Than the gas stove. Because it's quiet. And it's a flame. Yeah, it's good, actually. Yep. So I know hmm. You can't control... The yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can with this little bit, but... You can control it. But it's hot when you put it on. As soon as you put it on, you can't control it, can you? Yeah, close that down like that, or open it. But you need to know before. Hmm? You have to put it before, no, you can adjust, adjust it. Adjust it. You can adjust it when, adjust it when it's on. Is it hot? No. You just use one of them, use one of them things, or just use a stick or something. Mm. Are you? Oh, you took it down totally. <laughs> oh, just leave a little bit. See? It tastes the same. It's horrible. What's that? That was from the package. Ridiculous, it's like cardboard. <laughs> Isn't it? It was in the package, Russian package. 